First off, let's get the business out of the way. This shit is fair use. Do not come for me. Check the sign. So what I'm about to play is an interview that um, Jaguar had with a YouTuber like a few days ago talking about the issues that's going on between other YouTuber, Nosy Ho Live. So she goes into it. And let me tell you, she goes in. Y'all about to see her address Nosy and what she feels like on her side happened with the whole situation and how she felt blindsided and all that stuff. She's going to go into how she currently feels about Nosy, how she felt about Nosy. And she's going to talk about, you know, a little bit of stuff between her and her husband, which is interesting, seeing as how her and her husband just had that fallout literally like yesterday. This interview was like a few days ago. And then the last video I posted where her husband and the cops and her so-called nephew, we got to figure out who her so-called nephew is. His name is Solar. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into her interview discussing the drama between her and Nosy. So, What's the conclusion? The conclusion is I'm a bitch and he loves me. Oh. What's the rumor? The rumor is that I'm cheating on my husband because apparently some um chick named Marley Green. Uh-uh, no, girl, uh-uh. <laughs> allegedly. No, not no. Allegedly, some chick, some chick. Okay. Some sex worker. Oh, girl. <laughs> has a recording of me saying that I'm cheating on my husband. And um, she it's true. So the recording that this YouTuber. This it's YouTuber, true. Um. Because now I can't say her name because you said the other name. So, um, but anyways, uh, so this YouTuber allegedly has a recording of you stating that you cheated on your sitting next to you. Husband. Yes. Okay. Is that true? Yes. I said it to her. Okay. So you did tell her that you yeah. did cheat on your husband. So she's not lying. No, she's not lying about that. She just doesn't know why I told her that. Okay. I guess she knows now. All right. So why I don't you... trust a lot of people in my life right now. Uh -huh. So sometimes, and you probably heard me say it before, I beat the grass to see where the snakes are. Okay. And I beat the fuck out of her lawn. I beat the fucking shit out of that lawn. So what do you mean you're, you're, that you beat it? Like, what are you mean like- I told her that I cheated on my husband because I suspected that she had been recording our phone calls and I wanted to see if she was going to put it out. I actually told the same story to another friend of mine who works on the podcast and is an associate producer for Keep It A Bean Podcast, only available on the Dollar Duffy TV Network.com and on Roku. Um, and I told him the same story because I wanted to see who was going to say something. Okay. See, I test people. I have them. She the only one to fucking drop the beans. And I was so trying to make my husband you, jealous. So you baited her with sexual Absolutely. Attraction. Okay. So do Absolutely. you think, I'm just saying, because, you know, I have to be unbiased. Um, mm -hmm. So do you think as a real friend that baiting a person in a friendship is okay? Yeah. In this day and age, you got to vet a nigga the best way you can. People lie about themselves, lie about their lives, lie about their intentions, lie about everything. I think you'd be a fool to not vet people as thoroughly as possible. Mm -hmm. Like you can go and do Google searches on people and it'll still leave out whole like police reports. Maybe something got expunged. That's, that's the right person for you. And if they don't, Bye -bye. Don't save her. She don't want to be safe. So, in all fairness, if you were tested in that way and you didn't pass it. I have been. Millions of I, times. But I, what if you didn't pass it, though? So, we, we're going to speak from an analysis. I lost, I lost some people along the way because I didn't pass the test to two. Oh, okay. So and it taught me to learn how to pass the test. The truth is, if you really fuck with somebody and you really want to be in their life, it becomes a priority to you. You think about that person. You yeah. care about that person. You take their best interests into heart as you would do for yourself and expect them to do for you. Please test me. Put me to the test. I love living up to my word. Mm -hmm. Ashley's I don't so see nice. it as a bad because no. you can look at the just see it as a bad now. Considering that your YouTube page ain't even in your fucking stone. name. You need to stop like that to make my hands and teach you help. And this ain't me so talking crazy because you called yourself out. You oh. telling Nosy this, you were stating that woman still pays for your medical bills, so you can get yes. your skin so medicine, and you gonna get on live and talk crazy about her? her. But you are mm -hmm. also <laughs> doing it to make your <laughs> husband jealous. I have nothing to do. This is Don't she like to do the roast? Don't she like to roast people? Yeah, I mean, then she used to still, sit on the line for hours I, and roast people and roast people. I got a roast for you, bitch. I'm going to Shreveport in the morning. No. I'm going back to where we both no. used to live. Right. And you lived there a lot longer than me because you were born there and you lived there till you were 18. Guess what? I have so many friends in Shreveport. I got two godchildren in Shreveport. I got family in Shreveport just like you. I'm going to learn all about you. Because see, I thought I knew you, but clearly I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. So I'm going to go and I'm going to get your birth certificate. And I'm going to get your school records and I'm going to find out what schools you went to. I think you grew up on the Mansfield side. I can go and get those records and then I can go to Crawdaddy no. Kitchen and get what's, what's that we love? The Crawfish Supreme. Okay. I have and and crawfish is back in season. I give me some mud bugs and then go pick up your fucking fake bitch. Oh my god! I'm working on a new project. 
the origins of nosy whole life. And we're going to learn all about you, Ma. We're going to learn about how you got all them bad manners. We're going to learn about who taught you all that black magic to put my name in a motherfucking jar and wish, wish ill on me. How do you know that you put that in the jar? I'm going to find out about the first dick you took that made you oh, get. I'm going to find out. Oh, I'm going to find out. And then I'm going to go down to the gay club because all the, all the girls love me down there by the river. You know, down by the Red River, I know you was down there because that's the only place the LGBT go. I'm going to go have a drink with the girls. I'm going to sing a little karaoke. I'm going to tip some fucking good ass motherfucking drag queens. And then I'm going to listen to them draggy because I know you started there before you went on your illustrious campaign, selling your ass all over America until you made it all the way to New York. She to pretend to be ass. Carrie Bradshaw. She gonna be your ass, girl. She gonna be my ass? <laughs> I'd like to see it. I'd like to see it. I'd love it. Keep me sharp. Okay, girl. Okay. Keep so me sharp. She gonna be what? Mm, messy, messy, messy. Well, if y'all enjoyed the content, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe and I'll see y'all around. Deuces.